I actually had a, a client work uh, once and he was working for a pretty large manufacturing company, high tech. And he was in charge of buying big equipment, their manufacturing equipment for one plant. And he did a great job. He, he led a small team. They were really good at getting the equipment in, on time, on budget, et cetera. And he was a great job doing presentations. But those presentations were more about hey, day-to-day -day operations. So he did a great job of that because he was very detail-oriented himself. Well, he did such a great job that the company promoted him. And they made him in charge of that same process at five different plants. Three were in the U.S., two were overseas, China and Japan. So going from being a, a detail-oriented person in one plant, he actually had a new position now that required him to talk to executives because they want to know what was going on at the five plants, but also to deal with different cultures. And so what we did is we met, we talked a little bit about the type of presentations, some of the, the problems that were coming up because he wasn't able to shift how he presented his ideas. And we worked specifically on understanding different cultures to start with. So when he went to Japan, he went to China, you know, how do you present in those cultures that's different from the U.S.? Well, you spend more time with people before and after to build relationships. You really check in with folks so that they understand what you're communicating, especially if you're flying overseas to meet with them. So we worked really on upcoming presentations that he had, either flying overseas, talking to executives, and got him to really think more about how do I communicate my ideas and target my presentations to these different audiences. So the way you'd present an issue to people in a manufacturing plant is different than how you'd present that same issue to executives. And so when we worked on that, he really got the sense of, oh, I've got to really tailor and target my presentation to those audiences. And both from a, a level in the organization standpoint, but also from a cultural standpoint. And once he was able to do that, he was very successful because he was a hard worker, he knew his business, and once he was able to make those fine-tuning adjustments around culture and around strategic level and how he communicated, he got great feedback. He was much more successful, much more effective in working with a broader range of people than he had before.